Baton has enjoyed tremendous success in soccer in the Atlantic 10 Conference, both on the men's and women's side. Much of that can be attributed to the head coaches. They both have conference championships, Coach of the Year awards, and NCAA tournament runs. But this fall, they each added another milestone, 300 career victories. Mike Tucker has been the Flyers women's coach since 1995, his only collegiate head coaching job. He picked up his 300th victory on October 18th. Dennis Courier got his first college head coaching job in 1993 at the NAIA level and has been the men's coach at Dayton since 2005. He won number 300 in the Flyers Atlantic 10 semifinal victory on November 13th. Courier and the men's team went on to win the 2015 A-10 championship. His second A-10 tournament title at Dayton. The Flyers, who led the nation in scoring, advanced to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Tucker and the women's team have won nine Atlantic 10 tournament titles and 11 regular season championships in its 21 seasons. The five-time Atlantic 10 Coach of the Year took the Flyers to the NCAA tourney nine times, including the 2001 Sweet 16. But for all the success on the field, it's about more than just soccer for Courier and Tucker. The most rewarding part of coaching is when you see the student athletes grow, and this is a really um, important part of their time frame of their life. Uh, this is when they're kind of growing into to adulthood and to being a, uh, you know, a man and, and uh, seeing their, their, their reward of them graduating and then moving on to the next phase and, and having some type of impact on their lives, I think is the most rewarding part of coaching. It's phenomenal to get to work with, with young people on a daily basis and watch them grow and then the best days in the world for me are when the alums come back and we get to talk about all their successes since they've uh, left and, and are out in the real world. I think it's really cool to have a coach that's been with the program for so long. I mean, I'll talk to alumni sometimes and they'll have kids that are not that much younger than me and they'll be able to talk about Tucker. And I think it's really cool to be a part of the program and play for a coach who's seen so much success and helped build our program to what it is today. And the men's players can say the same about Courier. He's obviously shown me the right way and the right uh, way to do things, and he's always preached uh, to win the day. So every day when you wake up to go out there and make an impact, whether that's in soccer, or that's in weights, or in school, whether even when you graduate and that's in your workforce, or if you go pro, that you need to win the day, and you can't take days off. There's no days off here. Courier's coaching career started just after he graduated from college, but Tucker started coaching his daughter at the youth level. When she attended Dayton, Tucker made the drive from Cincinnati to practice every day. Coached uh, club and Olympic development and, and did a lot of stuff that way and decided, well, what the heck, let's see what I can learn. And uh, I was fortunate enough, my family uh, business was a boat building business, and uh, so I could I could go in uh, 5, 6 in the morning, work till about 2, 2.30, and then cut out and drive up to Dayton. And uh, fortunately, my wife has a pretty good sense of humor, so uh, I got away with that. Tucker was hired as an assistant coach then took over as the part-time head coach in 1995. One year later, he led the Flyers to their first Atlantic 10 title. Now 25 years after he coached his daughter at Dayton, Tucker has granddaughter Sydney Leroy on the team. There was one time last year in the spring where Sydney had struggled with injuries for a while and she came back for our game against Indiana and she had a hat trick. And you can see that Tucker was extra proud that it was his granddaughter. With over 600 career victories between them, both Courier and Tucker are looking to continue their success at Dayton. The game was a lot different uh, when I started back in 1992, and uh, you have to, you know, really work on being, becoming more modern. Uh, but I think the foundations of the intangibles have always stayed the same with the work ethic, the leadership. Being a coach is, is just uh, something that I think helped keep me young and, and just been a really enjoyable experience.